What I use in my practice are diabetic syringes, very small ones, that have a 32 gauge needle attached to it. And if I inject very gently, people can barely feel the needle going in. How much a Botox injection hurts also depends on where the Botox injection is. So there's certain areas of the face that are more sensitive and certain areas of the face that are a little bit less sensitive. Um, I found that it's also very much dependent on the person. Some people are more sensitive to these kinds of things and some people are, are less sensitive to them. In my practice, we don't use numbing cream for Botox injections because it really doesn't hurt that much. So I just use ice and, and we go ahead and inject and it takes a very short period of time and it's done and that's it. Um, that's, it's a different story, however, with fillers. So when I'm injecting Juvederm or Radius or Restylane, I'll always put numbing cream on the area that I'm going to inject and wait about 15 minutes for the skin to be numb. That just helps make the injection more comfortable and makes the experience easier uh, for the patient. Any pain or discomfort associated with the injectable fillers depends on also the area that's injected and also depends on what is injected. So when I inject radius, for example, that tends to hurt a little bit more than when I, than when I inject Juvederm or Restylane. When I inject, for example, the, uh, the marionette lines, that tends to hurt a little bit less than when I inject close to the nose in the, uh, in the upper nasal labial lines or when I inject in the lips. Relatively speaking though, after numbing cream application and, uh, and ice, it's a very tolerable procedure and it's very quick. So pain is really not a big deal.